this organization, the American Medical Association, though originally supported this, now supports abortion rights today because a lot of the reasons that this was being pushed through um, were racist. No, 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 I know. I'm glad that you brought up the slave relations because I think something that gets overlooked a lot and some things that I didn't know about the like original banning of abortion in the United States that yeah. I think is really important to share is how and why abortion first became illegal in the United States. So mm-hmm. it has inherent ties to racism and wanting to keep specifically black women out of positions of power mm-hmm. and to keep white women in a position where they're forced to continue to breed white babies. Ugh. So up until the Civil War, abortion was legal in the United States. Super chill. Um, and it was commonly practiced... Um, by midwives who were largely black women there were some white women and indigenous women who did it but by Mm -hmm. and large it was a practice um, that black women did and and as you pointed out it was something that they did out of necessity in order to not continue to give birth like to give birth to more black babies who would be in slavery Um, and it was also something that was used for all women to help them control their lives and give them a sense of power um, you know over what they could do and how much they could, you know, continue to pursue an education even back then. So after the Civil War, when slavery was, quote, over, because we all know that there were still terrible laws in place, but when it was over, black women started to petition to be able to go to Harvard Medical School so that they could become actual OBGYNs um, and become doctors who would deliver babies. Mm -hmm. These women were like a significant threat to white men Mm -hmm. who wanted to do that and who didn't want to see these women have any sort of power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the force behind this largely was the AMA, the American Medical Association, um, who during the 19th century were part of a campaign that was led by a man named Dr. Horatio Storer, who was a Harvard Medical School graduate. He's known as like the father of American gynecology, which is gross. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, And by the late 1880s, he had lobbied so hard that almost every state had passed laws banning all abortion except for when necessary to save a woman's life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, This organization, the American Medical Association, though originally supported this, now supports abortion rights today because a lot of the reasons that this was being pushed through um, were racist. Um, Also something I read about Horatio was that, aside from the racism, (laughs) he didn't want the medical profession to be associated with abortion at all and that the woman's role was to be a wife Mm-hmm. and a mother and disrupting that path was not only a social crime but murder mm-hmm. and he made abortion after quickening off limits so quickening it it means like when the ba- when you feel the baby moving because mm-hmm. back then we didn't have sonograms right. so like 27 weeks yeah. um but even that was an attempt to keep women out yeah. of the medical field because it was like the people who would have had the experience to do that were black women yeah and he literally he like published some report and he was like we are the physical guardians of women and only we can choose what's best for them the other thing is that he was wildly xenophobic mm. so post-civil war america was seeing a huge influx of immigrant communities mm-hmm. so horatio was very concerned with the idea of non-white families populating the United States. Um, Because even at this time, when abortion was legal, the main people who were able to get it were wealthy white women. Mm -hmm. So that meant that less white babies were being born. And meanwhile, the United States was seeing an influx of people from Mexico or Asia or wherever. Mm -hmm. And he says... Shall these regions be filled by our own children or by those of aliens? The, this is a question our women must answer. Upon their loins depends the future destiny of our nation. Which, ew, so gross. Yeah. So America, disgusting. you hired Nazis as scientists. I don't think you get a say on who gets to come here or not. Yeah. Yeah. 